Music has been the most important thing in my life, my whole life. My parents are both musicians and I grew up listening to classical music. So it was only natural after having spent my entire childhood listening to classical music that I would end up playing violin in orchestra. I didn't really love my orchestra class. I loved playing music and I've always absolutely loved playing music with other people, but I was never able to read music. And so I had learned how to play my violin basically by playing by ear, just like I had learned how to play guitar and piano and uh, trumpet also just playing by ear. And finally, after having the opportunity to play first chair for several different pieces, somehow my orchestra teacher found out that I couldn't actually read the music, I was just playing it by ear. And I'm not quite sure why that was actually a problem, but it became a big issue. Another thing that became a big issue is that I would always sit in class strumming my violin like this. And you know, growing up, my family didn't have a whole lot of money, but my parents had invested in a beautiful Romanian handmade violin for me to play in the orchestra. And just reaming on the beautiful handmade violin strings, playing what I thought were rock songs at the time, were actually uh, quite damaging to the bridge and everything else of the, of the violin. And so my mom suggested that I get a mandolin and I start learning how to play that because obviously I really just wanted to play some fast music. So as soon as I got a mandolin, I was hooked. And that was it for me as far as the violin or anything else went. I didn't really care about my classical music anymore or anything else. I just wanted to play the mandolin. And that basically started, I think, when I was about 13 and continues till presently. And I do play tons of other instruments. I play guitar, bass, drums, piano, you name it. If it's got strings on it, I've probably played it at one point or another. Ukulele when I lived in Hawaii, because why not? and steel guitar when I was super into 50s music, because again, why not? But here I am now, the mandolin has been the one instrument that I've always just absolutely loved. And of course, with Nickel Creek being one of my first non-classical, non-Christian experiences um, in the music world, uh, of course, I was just immediately hooked. The thing that's truly incredible about this is that now after building furniture for seven years, to articulate that is just a pretty special thing. Like hearing the resonance of the strings that, you know, are on an instrument that I found within the growth rings of a tree is pretty incredible. And so I would definitely say there are very few quote unquote bucket list items that I've ever had because I love to always be open to any and every new adventure. But building a mandolin certainly was, and boy howdy, what a ride it's been. Another reason that the mandolin has always been such a big part of my life and, and just holds such a special spot in my heart, even though I do play all those other instruments, is because of its size. As a missionary's kid, we traveled all the time and I couldn't lug a guitar all around. I obviously couldn't take my drum set with me. Same thing with a piano, but the mandolin just got to be my little backpack that I took everywhere. And so one of my favorite memories from my young life was sitting on the beach and playing my mandolin in Dan Shui, Taiwan, where I used to live. And just, I, I have a, one specific memory of just the sun shining down on me and me playing and looking out at the water. And water has always been super significant for me. But also, Dan Shui, Taiwan is one of my favorite places on this planet. And there was one specific time when just like the sunshine was perfect, the light was golden, and I was playing my mandolin. I kind of just like looked up and was like, man, I really don't think that life could get any more perfect than it is at this exact moment. And the mandolin is part of that. And every time I pick up my mandolin, I, I, at one point or another, I kind of get transported back to that moment. 
And, you know, my life has changed a whole lot since then. I live in Seattle, Washington. I'm a full-time woodworker. I had never even thought of woodworking before. Um, but even now, more special than ever, I get to sit here and play this mandolin that I made. So what a crazy full circle journey it's been. And I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs>